Welcome back to the next edition of the Weekly Roundup uh, vlog. So um, if you're new here, quick recap of what this is. I am on a year-long journey of creating one piece of content every day for that entire year. Um, this is inspired by Unis Honest, by their, their channel. Um, of course, it is now deleted, but if you're familiar um, with it, then you know might have where this, um, this idea kind of came from. So in this series, I just talk about all the content I've done in the last week and, um, and my plans going forward, whatever that is. And the point of this is to keep myself accountable to me. And so that's, um, that's where we're at. And what I've done this week is, of course, continue working on the comic book that I have been working on. I now have the outline of the three um, the three books that will be a part of it. Um, I've gotten, uh, I know the the plot line for out to follow through the three series. I know what, want, what I need to be saying in each one to make the story, I think, um, flow really well and tell what I want to tell. And so I'm, I'm excited to get into it. Uh, full disclosure, I don't think I've talked about this before, but I have zero training in comic book writing and, and, uh, or with really comic books at all other than uh, having enjoyed reading them in the past. So this has all been a journey in figuring out, um, figuring this out, understanding how comic books are written, the process, who has to be involved, um, and, and what those roles are. And, and really finding out just all of the production pieces so I can understand, you know, it's, you can't just write it and expect it to be fine. Like I have to know, you have to know what the production part of it is. You have to know how things are taken care of. And so I've had to spend some time doing that research and uh, I'm really excited. I, again, uh, I'll reiterate what I've been saying. I still feel like I'm on track to have the first one written and ready to go by the summer. Um, and so <clears throat> hopefully before then, um, I'm not going to hold myself to a higher standard than that just because uh, I know me and I get distracted with other projects very easily. Uh, for instance, I have spent, I spent some of my days this week working on um, two other podcasts that I'm considering launching right now. One of them being a microcast uh, focusing on um, historical events. Um, and the other one is going to be more of that talk show, sit back kind of um, format and that one will be with my friends, which, which is exciting because all of my podcasts, the most like another person has been involved in with it has just been as a guest or, you know, as being interviewed by me. So having this more talk show is something I've always like really been interested in, but never quite had the people that interested or wanted to do it, um, and, and really commit to it like these, uh, these guys are. So I'm excited. Um, you know, we're getting that off the ground and, and we've got all of the hardware for it, and so we'll see what goes. Um, it's been nice because it's, by getting involved in this talk show and, and kind of learning the new processes for that, I've taken the time and the money to upgrade some of my equipment, which has been really nice for me um, to finally like, you know, justify myself a little bit better to spend that money on new equipment and stuff. So looking forward to see when, where that goes. Um, and the history one, I think is going to be pretty fun. Um, the idea I'm kind of playing around with is maximum five minute podcast where I just take one insane or bizarre historical event and, uh, and talk about, you know, break it down a little bit, why it happened, what happened, what were the results maybe, um, or the ramifications, consequences, whatever word you so choose. So I'm excited because that one's going to be a little bit more research heavy and my podcast so far, podcast involvement has not required a lot of research and so it's going to be the opportunity where I can go in and kind of develop some more podcast related skills. Um, of course I have tons of research background as I was a philosophy and political science undergrad major and um, currently a student affairs master student so there's been tons of research there but applying this directly to podcasts is not something I have an experience with so that is going to be um, I think good for me and five minutes is definitely manageable um, the amount of research I'm interested to see I'm writing a script for the first episode right now and so uh, I'll hopefully be able to get in the flow and the pattern of understanding how much research and time I really need to do to get just one episode written out that's less than five minutes you know 
Um, but as you can see, I talk about a new podcast episode almost every week or a podcast idea. So I bounce around from idea to idea a lot. Um, so that's just me. Um, my mind, I'll just randomly walk, be walking down the street and I'll suddenly have a podcast idea and then I get obsessed with it and I write out a whole plan and everything for it. Um, my Google Drive is just stock full of um, podcast ideas that have been completely written out, episodes I developed, music found, all of those things. So <laughs> it's a process, but, um, and I enjoy it. it is, it's kind of like this expression of my, um, just my ideas. And even if they don't go anywhere, I still just enjoy like filling out all these details and figuring out what this, what this could look like. Um, but that's really much um, new episode coming out on Monday. So the day after this releases, we'll have a new episode of Silent Journeys. This one I am really excited for. Um, I think it was a phenomenal episode. It's short, it's only five minutes long, um, but that's uh, what our guests had to share. And honestly, it was a fantastic story and I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. And so, um, yeah, I just, uh, that, that's where we're going to leave off today. So. Thank you for signing in or joining us for another week of this show um, or vlog. Um, but that's where we're at. Thanks so much for joining and have a good day.